Then you look at system 7 here, which has had no cover crops, and this is spring wheat grown in what you might call a more conventional farming system. So rather than relying on um, cover crop roots to condition the soil over the winter time, we put a cultivator through here last autumn at post harvest, and then we came in with the GD, same drill as we've used across there, the GD drill, same, same treatment, same seed rate, everything. Look at the black grass that's coming in there, and it's just dreadful. So why, why have we done that autumn cultivation on this one and not, not on the others? Well, we're not, because we're not using cover crops on this plot, we're just not getting this soil conditioning going on, and we're finding that over the winter time, everything just starts to wash down and get sad and, and just runs together. We get, we get poor water infiltration. We often get soil runoff when if it's raining hard and, and it's just washing together and we need to do those cultivations. But the more we cultivate, the more we end up on this treadmill and have to keep, we have to run faster every year. I mean, this actually had a sort of This was glyphosated off just immediately post, uh, immediately pre-drilling. So this is all seed that's actually just come at the time from drilling. So I, mean, I was here with a group last week, and um, and I remember with what we're trying to do is miss that by doing adopting spring cropping to reduce our black cross problem to allow us to successfully grow winter weeks. We're trying to miss that big peak of germination in the autumn. So the scientists say 90% of black grass germinates in the autumn, 10% in the spring. So that's 10% of our black grass population in the soil, despite lots of years of spring cropping. 90% you know, that could come up in the autumn shows the you know, really importance of um, adopting these systems to allow us to get these uh, exactly yeah, these and good that wheat crops. That's the key message off the site this year.